What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, bringing you guys part 15 for my playthrough on Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Shining Pearl for the Nintendo Switch. So guys, in the last episode, we completed the 7th gym in Snow Point City, and in today's video, we're going to be completing the Galactic Warehouse and start moving towards catching our legendary Pokemon, Dialga. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, you guys are absolutely amazing. Thank you for all the support that has been going out across the channel. But we are here in the Galactic Warehouse already. We halfway it in the last episode. We just stopped halfway because, you know, time's a thing. We didn't want to make the video too, too long, but we're going to pick up Scald here. And I actually got to see if my Pokemon are healed up and ready to rock. Let's see. Frost has his poison. Good thing I checked. Good thing I checked because, you know, I would love to heal up this Pokemon. Give him a nice little, uh... Nice little antidote. And we did evolve Frost last in the last episode and catch our final Pokemon for squad, which is Rylou. Gonna evolve him into Lucario, but it takes friendship. So you guys already know we had a tough time doing it with Togetic. Hopefully it won't be a tough time for Rylou, but we shall see. We shall see. But this collective warehouse isn't really too hard. It has a cool little boss fight at the end and it has a cool little cutscene. I guess you can call it a cutscene, but you guys will see later on. You guys will see later on, but we got a little galactic guy right here. Let's challenge him. Let's get after it. But yo, I just want to give a huge shout out to everybody. Thank you guys so much for 10 thousand subscribers on this youtube channel it really does go a long way it really does so seriously shout out to everybody who views the videos likes them up and, every, and all the subscribers to the channel you guys are amazing also you guys want to catch more content from me your boy has been streaming basically every day during the week jeans 25 on twitch name is on the layout and link is down in the description below go hit that follow button turn on notifications catch me live come do some battles with me doing some uh live competitive double battles and i'm trying to build up a singles team as well I'm trying to build up a single team to battle you guys for singles but definitely check us out definitely check us out but why does this dude have a Wurmple? I never understood this. Like, every time I versus guys, like, we are past the seventh gym. And this dude's still rocking with a Wurmple. Like, yo, we'll bop that into a Beauty Fire Dust Tox. Now we're talking. Like, look at this. Now he's gonna throw out a Dust Tox. Like, there was no need to throw a Wurmple out. Unless your little Dust Tox had babies and you didn't know what to do with it. You're just like, oh, I guess, I guess I'll put it on my team. I guess I'll put it on my team. But we should be able to just do some big old damage this thing. Dust Tox, it's going... Bro, I just healed my boy. I just healed him. I just gave him an antidote, and you gonna do this? You gonna do this? But right now, Frost Eyes isn't our strongest Pokemon, but he's really good. He's really good. We're just trying to get some levels up on him. I wish I did have a, have a Lucky Egg. Lucky Eggs are awesome. Lucky Eggs are phenomenal, but we're gonna rip up with this Ice Beam. Hey, take that thing down. Take that thing down. Get it on out my face. Get it on out my face. But yo, I'm getting super, super excited because we're getting closer and closer to Legends Arceus release date, which is uh, January 28th. It's gonna be awesome. They are uh, revealing, starting to reveal like little pieces of the game. Like they just revealed Hisuian Voltorb and he looks hilarious. He looks awesome. So I cannot wait to see all the Hisuian forms. I think they leaked like 17. I think like data miners found out that there's 17, but we only saw a few of them so far. Like, I can't think of all that all that we saw. I know we saw Basculin, uh, Braviary, uh, not Stoutland, the deer. The deer Pokemon, I forget that thing's name. Uh, we saw Voltorb now. We've seen Arcanine. We've seen Zoroark. That's six. Any other ones that I'm missing that I should know of? I feel like there should have been like a snow Pokemon. I feel like there should have been a snow Pokemon. Is snow run Hisuian form there? I don't think so. But might have missed them out, but I think they leaked 17. I think Data Miner saw that there's 17, but we just don't know all 17 yet. But we keep making our way through the Galactic Warehouse, and now we're versing Scientist Sam. If I had to guess his name. We still haven't been able to guess a name. We still haven't been able to guess a name, so hopefully we can do it in today's video. Scientist Frederick. God dang it, dude. That name is Frederick. Frederick. Come on, man. You're better than that. Shout out to all my boys named Frederick. Fred's cool. I do like the name Fred. It's simple. But shout out to all my boys named Frederick. We should use Hex there. Probably would have killed this thing. But Ice Beam's coming in hot. Coming in hot. Take this thing out. Mmm. Mmm. It's like it's going to pop. It's going to do some nice little damage onto me. Oh, we soak, though. We soak. Oh, no. I forgot we're poisoned. Don't die to poison. All right. So here's my plan. Swap. Or just take out. Let's just take out. Yeah, yeah. Let's just take out. Hexing up. Oh, uh, that's what we should have did first turn. Would have just dumped on this thing. Would have just dumped on this thing. But yo, I recently uploaded a video of Sword and Shield uh, double battles, ranked double battles, and the new interface is throwing me off. The HP bar goes down so whack now. It's like the same speed for no matter what hit. So you can hit them with a close combat, and you have to wait like two seconds watching the bar like slowly go down. You're like, yo, what is going on? You're like, what is going on? Because usually when you hit somebody hard and you do a lot of damage, the bar just flies down. But they changed the interface, which is a little whack. It's a little whack. But how Noon's going to pop out here? Maybe I shouldn't have let the Frost Slice go down. Hopefully we have a revive. I'm not sure if we do. But I think we might. But I can just go for a bite here, finish this thing off in one tap, and heal up my Frost Slice yet again. I probably should have checked if we had a revive first. 
before letting him go down because I knew that the poison damage was going to take him out after turn. I was just like, screw it. Let's hex this thing and take it out. But give me all the XP. Oh, that would have leveled up the Frost Last probably. Dang it, man. Scientist Frederick, go home. Give me your money. Give me your money. I like how he gets all angry when like he has two Pokemon. What do you expect when you have two Pokemon? You're not winning anything. Well, there should be a bed here soon, but we do have a revive, so I'm just going to revive. I'm just going to revive my lovely little uh, Frost Last. My lovely little frost lesson. I'm loving this Pokemon. Super, super cool Pokemon. Great special attacker for his team, considering we have actually Houndoom special attacker and Togekiss. And we might have to make our, what's it called? Our uh, Rylou or Lucario special attacker. It does learn some good moves, special attacker. Everybody was saying stuff, but we went the wrong way here. This is just loops us all back. But we did defeat the trainer, so let's just make our way to... I don't even think you have to verse this trainer right here. Let me show it to you guys. Let me show it to you guys. Hold up. Wait a minute. It's like a trainer that you don't even have to verse. I oh, know we versed this trainer already. Yeah, you have to verse this trainer to go up this way. And can we talk to you? Doctor special key. Ba ba ba. Baby ba 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 And we keep making our way here and then verse you. Yep. Okay. So we're going the right way. We are going the right way. But like I was saying, we have a modest Lucario, which actually drops his attack stat. And personally, I like to go with the physical attack in Lucario. I like his moves a little bit better. But people say his special attacking isn't too bad. And I was looking into it, looking at his moveset up, and it's really not that bad. You get flash cannon with that thing. Uh, what other fighting moves? There's, uh, I think, a roar spear. You can rip up with that. You learn some pretty good special attacking, uh, steel, and fighting moves. That's so really good all around. Yo, I swear, if this stunky, if this stunky poisons me, the video's over. Good. Okay, good. <laughs> Could you imagine? It was just like poison. I was just like, peace out, everybody. <laughs> Outro plays, screen, screen closes up. Six, six minute video. You guys are like, yo, did jeans really just do that? I bet jeans really just did that. <laughs> but we were almost done this warehouse. Uh, this guy's just walking around. Can we battle him? Yeah, he's just like, I don't know why he's like, he's like walking up, down, back, looking at the wall. Dude's going nuts. He's losing his mind in this warehouse. Gonna send out a nice, lovely little bronzor. Bronzor. Like, I can get down with some bronzor. I like bronzor. He's sick. He's very, very cool. Very cool Pokemans. But too bad we have Hex and it is Stab as well. So we're going to say bye-bye to Bronzor. Later, Skater. Oh, is this thing sturdy or is he just get a free... Free focus, Sash. Free focus, Sash. Bruh. Nah, 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 nah. That only happens in competitive battles. We, we, we don't deal with that stuff during this playthrough, all right? We'll keep that for competitive battles. I do... Every time I'm doing like online battles, like, or now even in my playthrough, people are getting free focus ash. So just living on one HP. I was battling my boy uh, all over on stream, and he had an Azumarill. He had an Azumarill. Belly jumped up, looking good, ready to run my team. I have one chance left, and I have to KO it. I have to KO it. Oh, I'm out of ice beams, that's why. But like, I have to KO this thing in order to win. Make my move, make the right call, protect, block the one slot. My Gyarados comes in for the shot. Hits up on Azumarill. Thing drops. All the way down to, I kid you not, 1 HP. It looked like a half of HP was so low. It was so low, and I lost the match because of that. I was like, what you mean? What do you mean? But yo, it definitely should have killed. It definitely should have killed. I think it got a low roll, but it is what it is. It is what it is. But you guys just know my pain when it comes to, uh, when it comes to what's it called. Free focus ashes. But we are pretty much at the end here. Do we have this key? Oh, no. We have to loop back. We have to loop back now because, you know, Jeans is a clown. Jeans is a clown. What we want to do is loop all the way back. And I think we have to go this way. Because that's, that's the whole point of this one right here. We have to go all the way back here and go get the special key. And go get the special key. And that is all the way back in the beginning, right? I believe so. We go here. We can dip down here. But at least we defeat the trainer, so next time we can just straight up run through it. Now we can go over here. We can grab a TM Sludge Bomb. Ooh, good old Sludge Bomb. Do I give that to anybody? Sludge Bomb could be nice. And we can grab this thing right here, which is going to be the Galactic Key. The Galactic Key. And do I go this way now? No, that leads back to the beginning. So now we go all the way this way. Now we go all the way this way. Okay, now we go back. We have the Galactic Key. All right, all right. Like, I went down the steps, and I saw that, and I thought it was the original path to the beginning, but I totally forgot if you walk forward a little bit, you grab yourself the key, and then you go back. But onward! Actually, I went the wrong way, didn't I? I think Jeans went the wrong way. No, Jeans did not go the wrong way. Onward! Onward! But we're actually almost on the warehouse, so I'm hoping we can do this and make our way towards the Alga. That could be pretty, pretty rad. Pretty dope. 
pretty spiffy. Open up this door. Hey, look at us, yo. Just opening things up with the key right in front of their face. Right in front of their face. But we can go here. And we can do this. Dazzling Gleam. And, oh no, we have to loop back anyway. But we got Dazzling Gleam. Which is good. But you can buy at the store. That was kind of stupid. But what am I doing? Genius is forgetting the map. It's all good. We have to loop all the way back. Which I shall do. Don't worry. Gene's got this. We gotta go all the way back. We gotta go outside the warehouse and go into the other building on the other side. You know what? We're just gonna head back the way that we came. Do, 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 do. I like how they have teleporters and stuff, but like, I don't know. Like, the technology isn't too good around here. Like, why do I need fly to actually, uh, why do I need fly to get around town when we have teleporters like this? Like, it makes no sense to me. It makes no sense to me. But we're almost at out back to the beginning. We shouldn't be down here. Yep. And we can just run all the way around. We could use the galactic key. Well, we are going to use the galactic key on the other building. If you guys ever get stuck here like your boy Gene just did, make your way all the way back and loop all the way around, uh, what is this, Vilestone City? It's Vilestone. It's Vilestone. Yep. Bring out your bike too and watch Vilu run like a Naruto character. You're not going to be able to see him because we're cooking so fast. But yeah, make your way all the way over here, up to here, and now you can make your way through this building and open up this last door, which is just a few more battles and then we can burst. The little galactic boss. But look at this. The door is locked. Special keys needed. Heck yeah, yo. We got galactic key now. And I like how we're just opening doors right in their midst. We're not like disguised or, or anything. We're just kind of just going at it. We're just kind of going at it. But I wish this was a double battle. I didn't want to do two single battles. It is what it is. It is what it is. Yes, two Pokemon. Team Galactic Run. And I should have probably healed up my Pokemon. Get all the PP back. But, you know, we're fine. We'll thrive here. Golbat's going to come out here. And we have our Golbat killer on the squad. My boy Frostlight. My boy, Frost, actually my girl, Frostlass, because, you know, Frostlass can only be a, be a girl. Can only be a girl, Snow Run. So let's rip up. Frost Breath is going to come out here. Later. Later, Golbat. The thing is, like, Zubat's not cool at all. Like, if you say Zubat's cool, get on out my face. But, uh, Golbat, like, when you evolve him, it's like, okay, Golbat's pretty cool. He's got a little cool, like, attributes to him. And then when you evolve it into Crobat, you're like, all right. Probat is just a, a bro all around. He is sick all around. There's no problems with him. So it's always those uh, whack Pokemon that evolve into something super, super cool. Like Zubat, Geodude. I think Machop's not even that cool, but Machamp is so sick. I don't think Gastly's that cool. I think Gengar's amazing. Magikarp stinks out loud. He stinks out loud. But Gyarados is a G. He's a G. But, and then you gotta know that there's some Pokemon like Bidoof's Ratatat and all them. They don't evolve in anything cool. They're just lame all around. So I feel like it's either a hit or miss. No in between for the for the lame Pokemon. For the lame Pokemon. It's like, yeah, there's Bidoof and Magikarp. One evolves into something crazy strong, really cool looking, and the other one just evolves into Babiro that you just use for HMs. <laughs> That's pretty much how it goes for Pokemon. It's a hit or miss for the for the whack Pokemon. For the stupid Pokemon. Like, Oddish is... Actually, no, Oddish I wouldn't consider, like, whack. I kind of like Oddish. I like Oddish and, and Bellsprout. They're cool, and then they evolve into pretty cool Pokemon. I'm trying to think of, like, more examples where they're, like... They stink at first, and then there's absolute bangers. Like, I, I do like Togepi's design. But, like, obviously it's not that good. But then it evolves into Togekiss, which is amazing. I knew he wants to learn foul play. Now we're gonna keep it. But I wouldn't consider Togepi and Togetic, like, stupid. Like, Bidoof, stupid. Magikarp, stupid. They evolve, Zubat, stupid, he evolves, you know. You guys get the premise. You guys get the premise. I think uh Whirlpool kind of evolves pretty cool. And I wouldn't say it's like a banger. Like Dust Talks and Beautifies, eh. I kinda like Cater Ooh, yeah, Caterpie and Weedle is pretty cool. I do dig them. I do dig a good old what's it called? A good old B Joe and Butterfree. I do like them. I do like them. Beedrill's really sick looking, especially his mega form. And Butterfree's just an absolute monster on the rank ladder. You can put legit anybody to sleep. But we are here, and I believe we're coming close to the end here. We just have Mr. Professor over there. I think we might have to go into this one. This one might lead to the bed. It does. It does lead to the bed. Howdy, howdy, howdy. So what we can do is actually just talk to the bed. And I like how, like, normally you need, like, a nurse to actually heal up your Pokemon. But if I just have, like, a simple bed, I can do it myself. Maybe they should just change the nursing center to just a bed. Like maybe, maybe they should just do that. Like, no nurse joy in there. No machine. Just a bed. But, yo, uh, this is actually, like, this is actually a good question. So, obviously, in Pokemon, the older generation knows the nurse up there. 
that heals Pokemon at the Pokemon Center as Nurse Joy. Like that that's that's the typical nurse from the Pokemon TV shows, the movies, all that good stuff. Her name's Nurse Joy. So I'm wondering if you guys knew that before I just said that. I wonder how many of you guys knew that was Nurse Joy. Because I know the younger generation does not know about Nurse Joy. I got an EQ, but EQ's kinda scary. I'm gonna EQ still. So I'm sorry, Frostlass. I'm sorry, Frostlass. It's okay. But I'm really curious to see what's it called. See who knows who knew that it was Nurse Joy and kind of like goes by it being Nurse Joy. Because that is really that's like the age gap of Pokemon. If you if you consider that lady Nurse Joy, you were the older generation of Pokemon. You've been playing Pokemon for a while, you know what's up. But then if not, you're the younger generation. You you do not know what's up. You do not know what's up with Nurse Joy. <laughs> But seriously, let me know in the comment section down below on that one. He's going to send out Krogunk here, and I think I'm just going to hard swap my uh, Frostlass here. Play this one like a competitive battle. Hard swap Frostlass into free EQs for Torterra. Sounds like a plan, right? You know, Togekiss cannot get hit by that, and then we just pop in EQs left and right. Left and right. Left and right. This is what I do with my guard chop in VGC battles. Swap out EQ, or with my Gliscor. If you guys haven't checked out my Gliscor video, that build is insane and that team i've been killing it with i've been absolutely killing it with that team probably one of the best teams i've made so far last score is just a monster with this uh what is it bulky sweeper build so it's very bulky on defense so like pokemon hit me with a physical attack i'm soaking it up all day and then i can sword dance to get my attack up to make up for the stats that are not an attack and then we just sweep out because then i can roost up i can also have facade which does double damage when i'm poisoned burned or paralyzed and i'm always poisoned because i gave that thing the toxic one so it just rolls out strong and it does a lot of work this dude's gonna throw out another stunky and i'm just going to dump on this thing actually actually yeah dude let's use metronome let's see what kind of moves he's gonna use maybe he'll use something cool maybe he'll use something cool metronome popping give me something spiffy infestation this thing rocks out with infestation yo i love metronome i might just keep it on this pokemon just because we can do stuff like that. Like, it's so much fun just, like, randomizing, getting, like, a random move. Like, this thing's using infestation. That's so sick. But I really don't know how this move works. Is it totally random, or is it random depending on what Pokemon you're versing? Or, like, where you're at in the game? What terrain it is? Like, if you guys know, let me know in the comment section down below. But I think it's all random. Like, sometimes I used to get, like, Sacred Fire. I used to get all this crazy different stuff. It used to be really cool. But let me heal up Frosty. Frosty last take some damage. It's all right, little Frost boy. We got some super potions for you. Should I give him two? Yeah, you know what? Eat up. Eat up, buddy. We're about to verse uh, Cyrus, which is like the top dog here in Galact Warehouse. He don't want the smoke. He does not want the smoke. And I believe the left one's the right one. Is it correct? Am I correct here? I think I am. I think I am. If I remember correctly, the left one is is the one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at that. Look at that. Howdy, Cyrus. And I got to make sure I go get uh, Ultra Balls and get a bunch of stuff before we start heading up to Stark Mountain to go after Dialga. But here's my main man, the boss, Cyrus. I think his name's Cyrus, right? It's just his boss as his name. But these guys originally took Uxi, Mesprit, and Azelf, the three legendaries of the lakes, to try to, like, do some crazy stuff. So these guys are up to something. So we're going to battle this dude up. And this music's a jam. This music's a jam. Put me in the zone. Get me hype, baby. Hey, hey. Let's get it. He's got a little Murkrow over here, and Frostlass is loving that. Frostlass is loving a Murkrow because, you know, I can just hit this thing up with a lovely little beam device. Yeah, you just gotta make sure I hit the Pokemon. Gotta keep that in the back of my mind. Hit the Pokemart before you go to Stark Mountain because I do not want to make my way up to Stark Mountain and have no Ultra Balls to catch uh, Dialga. I will be very upset. If I have to come all the way back down. And go all the way back up for Ultra Balls. Well, that's going to come out here. Yo, Frostlass is loving this. Frostlass is loving this. No doubt in my mind, Frostlass is loving this. Ice Beam's coming out here just ripping. Just ripping. Golbat. Oh, he ate. Give me a freeze. Give me a freeze. Nope, this thing's going to screech me up. It's all good. It is all good. Screech me up. Get out of my face. Get out of my face. But, yo, I love this background. He's got, like, the moon and, like, galaxies all around him. Looking pretty tough. Uh, this thing's gonna use a super potion. Wow, I should just ice beam. Should just ice beam or like frost breath or something like that. What did the job? Hex is gonna pop here. Yo, you get some work done. Do some damage. If you use another super potion, we're coming in with this frost breath for the KO. Yeah, what you want, fool? What you want? 
I think Frost Frost Breath should be able to kill. Ice Beam would have definitely, but I think Frost Breath should be able to get the work done. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Go back. Get on out. Reason out. Oh, we got a crit. We take those. We take those. We take those all day. Right, Luke. Gets the level. He's level 29. Loving it. Just filling up his level. Sneezes is going to come out here. We're bringing out the one and only Shiny Houndoom, baby. Shiny Houndoom. Yo, I still can't believe I found this Pokemon Shiny. And it was during a playthrough, which is awesome. Which is awesome. Like, the odds, what was it? 1 4,090 something? That's nuts. That's nuts. It's our first Houndoom we found in the whole game. And, like, I knew that I wanted Houndoom on my team. So, I was just sitting there in the video. I'm like, I'm like okay, well, uh, we want this Houndoom. Like, we're catching it no matter what. And we pop into it. It wasn't like we randomly found a shiny. It was like, yo, we're catching this Houndoom no matter what. Walk up to it. Bang. Shiny Houndoom. I'm like, what? What? Because I was, I was originally planning on having it on my team, regardless. Regardless if it was shiny or not. But there we go. Catch up. Get all those XP points. And we defeated Cyrus here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yo, it's also a jam just like chilling in here. I think it gives us a Master Ball, doesn't he? Yeah. That's how you know in every Pokemon game that you're going to go towards the, the legendary. The box art legendary. The bad guy gives you a Master Ball. But back to what I was saying, yo. The, it's actually a jam, this music just in the warehouse. Dun, 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 dun. But he tells us to go to Mount Coronet, all that good stuff. And I'm like, hey, yo, I'll be there in a second. But what we got to do is actually head all the way over here. Towards this way. I believe it will lead us to, yeah, this little laboratory over here. Laboratory. And this is what the, this was like the little cutscene I was talking about. There's a little like rocks in here, which is pretty cool. And it kind of has like a, a dreary kind of sound. And then look, yo, we got Mesprint, Uxie, and all of them over here. But I think we have to fight this chick too. I don't know. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah, we got to fight this chick too. But yo, it's so sick. They just have Uxie, Mesprint, and Azop just chilling there. They look so cool. It looks so cool. Commander Saturn is going to burst us again, and he's going to send out a Kadabra, which we can just hex and take out. There you go. Dude, Frostlass is like the Team Galactic killer. He counters a lot of these Pokemon. He counters a lot of these Pokemon. Let's go for this hex right here. Take this thing out in one shot, I believe. Yeah, uh, hey. Get it on out of here. Get it on out of here. And I hate how in the whole playthrough, like, Team Galactic never involves their Kadabras into Alkazam. Yeah, Alkazam's nasty. He's nasty. Bronzer's going to come out here. And, you know, we can just take this thing out with a hex. It's not a Bronzong. I thought it was Bronzong for a second, but then I read it again. I was like, oh, it's a Zor. Let's just hex it up. Let's just hex it up. Yeah. Get it. Oh, this thing's soaked. He soaked it. These guys are, are a bit higher level. Payback's gonna fly. That might kill me. Oh, no, it didn't. It did not. It did not even close. I just thought it was gonna do more damage considering how much damage we did. It's all good. Wop. Later. Later. Yeah, I really did think that I was going to do more damage. Like, I was like, okay, this is super effective. We already did damage to it. It's hitting us with a payback. It's going to do a big amount of damage, but did like this much. <laughs> Tash Kirk's going to be final Pokemon. And we'll just keep in my, my boy right here. We'll keep in my lovely little boy, even though I could have went into my Torterra and EQ'd. But we're here to have some fun. Let's drop an Ice Beam. We do outspeed this, this quick Pokemon. Give me a freeze. Give me a freeze. No freeze, man. And yo, what is up with everybody? Everyone! Poisoning this frost last dude We antidoted him in the beginning of the video We got poisoned again. We antidoted him again, and now we get poisoned again. Ah dang, dude Frost last can come out here and say hey, yo, you poison me like that. This is what you're gonna get big old ice beam to that little croaky chin He's gone get him out of my face, but Toxic is such a cool Pokemon. Really dope. Riley's getting level 30. I think he wants to learn to move here Nope, and I used to always think uh, Lucario or Riley Evolving level 30. I used to always think that. But he evolves during friendship. But this chick's showing lead, and now we can just press this button and release these three Pokemon. Howdy, would you like to press the button? But look how sick they look. Look how sick they look. And yo, this is what I never understood. You see how they just teleported like that? Why didn't they do that when they were getting captured? Or when they were in the cage? Makes no sense, right? Like they're about to get captured. Wouldn't they just teleport? Like, they, they can instantly teleport and they get captured. Like, that, that shouldn't be a thing. That should not be a thing. I think it cracks me up every single time. But we got to start making our way out of this junk. This this hole right here. And it gives us a little shortcut here. Yeah, did you just see me run around and think missing it like five times? <laughs> but 
But we make our way out of here. We are here at Team Galactic Warehouse right at the entrance. And I did remember I have to go to the Pokemart and all that good stuff. So let's go do that before we head up to Stark Mountain and go try to catch Dialga. Well, face off with Dialga. You don't have to catch him, but, you know, you you, you, you got to catch him. Like, come on. If you don't catch the Box Art Legendary, there's something wrong with you. There's something wrong with you. So I know some people will just, uh, will just kill him. We'll just kill it. And I'm like, dude, what are you doing? <laughs> Why are you killing it? Some people do that. But, yo, you always got to catch a box art legend. But, uh, where's the Pokemon at? Oh, there is no Pokemon. It is just this store right here. This little, the mall. The mall that's putting the Pokemarts out of business. Well, let's talk to this lady. How may I help you? Yeah, yo, we're going to need some stuff and things from you. Buy some potions. 21. Lovely. Let's go down here. Get some revives. We're gonna need a couple more of these. We'll buy three more. I think that should be plenty. Antidotes we might need. How many antidotes do we have? We have ten. Okay, never mind. Uh oh yo, I wanna I want repels. Do you not have repels? We need ultra balls. Maybe this chick's rocking with them. Maybe this chick's rocking with them. Yeah, now we're talking. Now we're talking. Look at this. If we would have went with only 30, we're gonna get some more. We're gonna get 21. We'll have 50. Do I have an escape rope just in case we need something? Let's see. No escape rope. Good thing we're here. Oh, give me 11 of these things. Give me a bunch of ropes. Pokedog's pretty cool. I think Pokedog yeah, guarantees to escape a mini battle. We'll get some repels up in here. And we'll get ripping. All right. We're looking good. We're looking good. To Stark Mountain away. Away. Actually, Mount Coronet, right? No, Stark Mountain is. Why do I keep calling Stark Mountain? That's for Houndoom. Well, not Houndoom. That's for Heatran. That's for Heatran. But we got to head here. And I think the best way of doing this is going into Celestic Town. Actually, is Celestic Town? No, we're going to head to Orberg City, and we got to make our way to the peak of that mountain. Hopefully, we can make it there by today's video. I think we can. I think we can. With repels and all that good stuff, everybody's having gold bats and stuff. We should be we should be thriving. They're, they're cave battles, so it's either Geodudes or gold bats. And we're thriving at that point. But before we head inside this cave here, I want to hit Pokemon. I want to go into my bag, and I want to pop a repel. Where are my repels at? Oh, repels are over in this thing. We probably already had plenty of them. It's super repels. I'm just going to pop off my super repels. I'm going to pop my super repels. And we're going to roll through. Onward. Jeans onward. Super repel cooking. And we got to go this way, I believe. We can just loop around this way. And I think... Which way do we go? Oh, no. We surf this way. Do we have rock climb? We do have rock climb. Is this the way we want to go? I don't forget the way that we want. Can I squeeze through here? Thank you very much. This way, it's one of these ways that we got to get across. And into, like, a different area. Let's go, Badoof. We're not Badoof, but Beryl. I do like how we surf on his back. It's kind of funny. But yeah, I think this is the way here. We'll grab his Pokeball. I think it's a TM. Nope. Bottle of protein. Getting our gains in. Getting our gains in. But yeah, I think this is the way here. We just gotta, you know, son of a biscuit, man. I was gonna say, we gotta finesse our way through there. But of course, this game's trash. Why oh, they gotta finizzle me like that? My Super Potion's gone already. Already that thing's out. Out of juice, man. But let's go. Yo, Badoof. I'm going to use my D-pad for this one. What you mean? I used the D-pad. Yo, I can't do it. I can't do it. All right. Third time's a charm. I think the best way of doing this is like hugging the corner. Right like this. Right? You hug the corner. Yeah, 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 <laughs> Let's go. Hate how they made it like that. Like, I even D-padded it. Which makes us move one unit at a time and still, still did me whack. But yeah, I believe this is the way here. Grab a Celsius Pokeball. We're getting max potions. This is definitely the way. Onward to the mountain. Is there trainers in here? Kind of scared of it. It's a little puzzly out here. Here's a cave. Yeah, this is definitely the way. All right, heads this outside. This is for a Pokeball right here, if I want to get it. Actually, I am going to get it. I am going to get it. We're here. But this trip up this mountain, it's a little rugged. It's a little tough trial here. But this right here is... What's in here? Yes, we want to use another. Oh, no. Rylu, move, dog. Yo, Rylu. Thank you. <laughs> I was waiting there. I was sitting there. I was like, yo, is this guy really not going to move? Is this guy really not going to move? And I'm, and I'm not going to be able to get this Pokeball because every time I hit A, I have to talk to him. But he finally disappears. He teleports in the air. And we're thriving here. But let's keep making our way. Uh, which way did we come from? We came from that way. So we got to go up this way. And 
Actually, no, wrong way. Again, jeans. You got this, baby. You got the sheens. This way, across the bridge. Yay. Down this way. Up. Let's go. Mint's Pokeball. It's mine. And a lovely little revive. Even though we just bought 10, we take them. We'll throw them in our bag. We'll use it later. All right. I bet we're going to have to use a revive in three, two, one, zero. Yo, what? Yo, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that, yo. Your boy knows his repel steps. Your boy knows his repel steps. But keep making our way onward through the, out this cave and. I would think upwards the way, right? Yeah. If there's galactic members here, upwards definitely the way. I think if you head down right, there's just a few extra items. So if you guys are looking for items, trying to get some good stuff, definitely go down there, hit it up. But yeah, we're looking to just complete this. We're looking to get get after this. Beauty Fly is going to get sent out here. And your boy Gene's going to pop off. Going to pop off on it. And he's going to let it get the chance. Give it a little Ice Beam. Ice Beam says, hey, yo, Beauty Fly, come here. Let me tell you something, Beauty Fly. Come here. Get on out my face. Get him out my game. Take out this poor little butterfly. I think Beauty Fly is like Butterfree's like prettier cousin. That's like not as smart. <laughs> it makes sense because Butterfree's like way better and competitive. But Beauty Fly looks more aesthetically pleasing, you know? <laughs> you know what I'm saying, guys? You know what I'm saying? Makes sense. Makes sense to me. So let's keep on moving. Howdy. Yo, we finessed that guy. If I didn't talk to him, I could have walked right past him. But he was like looking around. I had him doing circles. Hit him with the cross, man. Cross him up. But Bronzer's gonna pop out here. Can we kill this Bronzer in one shot? Cyrus's Bronzong we couldn't have touched. We couldn't have touched. But I don't think we're gonna be able to take out this one. This one's higher level than his. This one's level 39. We'll hex it up. And we almost take it out. We do more damage to this one. I guess Cyrus just has better stats, better EVs, IVs, whatever it is. But this thing, Iron Defense is up. And we chillin'. So we are special attacking. And he's on like 1 HP, regardless. Hex popping. Uh, hey. Later, Skater. Get rid of this dude. And he's out for the count. I love me, Bronzor. Bronzor's sick, dude. Back to like, like, Pokemon that stink in the beginning of evolutions. Bronzor is not one of them. He's not one of them. And if you don't like Bronzor, get out my face. I'm not gonna lie. I didn't, like, as a kid, I was like, oh, Bronzor's kind of whack. But I ran out, I was like, seven or eight. And now I'm like, dude, I absolutely love good old Bronzor and Bronzo. They're really cool. <laughs> it's really sick Pokemon. Steel and Psychic, and it's really good for a competitive. Really, really good. But, you know, we just hop it up here, and I believe we go inside this cave right here. I believe the cave is a way. Do you know the way? Do you know the way? That That is not the way. This, this was not the way. <laughs> we went the wrong way. Uh, do I head this way? It's over here. I honestly think this way is the way. Oh, yeah, another cave, but... How do we get over to, to that way? We go around this way? Will they like use another one? Of course! Oh yeah, this this is the way. We do know the way. Let's get it. I love that meme. I love that meme. And the way Knuckles looks. It's so funny. <laughs> Good old memes, dude. Good old memes. There's obviously an item on that rock, but I ain't worried about it. Jeans ain't worried about it. We're just finessing through this grass. And we getting after it again. Is this the way? Yeah. Yeah, Jean's got us, baby. Onward. Get up there, Rubiro. We're rocking out here, and we're gonna have like I can finesse this dude and just walk around him. But your boy wants to battle. Your boy wants to battle, and I totally forget what's in that cave up there. I didn't actually go back in my uh my other playthrough where I played the game on my other account. But I totally forget what's in that cave right there. Dustox flies out, and you know these guys have just been sending out the same Pokemon all day. Dustox. Beauty flies. Old bad. Bronze or stunky. So come on, man. Change it up a little bit. If this guy's the same team as uh, that one person we versed, where it was Dust Tox, Wormp, and Cascoon, I'm gonna be very upset at the Pokemon Company for doing this. Bug Buzz flying out here. We soak all day. It's easy soaks. I might get a stat drop. No, he does not. But I'm gonna be upset at the Pokemon Company because that means they just copied and pasted the team over. Did not put any thought into this poor trainer. Let's see. Let's see it. Riley's gonna get a level. Oh, Torterra does. And Kiss hits level 50. First one level 50. Yo, Kiss is taking over here. Riley with 31. Can a Pokemon evolve with friendly levels? With, uh, with what's it called? Without actually battling? Like with the XP share? Can I just level up Riley and eventually it will evolve? Or do I have to, like, at least use it a couple times? But, good thing this person does not have the exact same team. We have a Golbat killer out here. And I feel like it does more damage because Golbat's mouth's wide open and we're just shooting a beam of ice right into the back of his uvula. 
<laughs> Poor guy. Poor guy. He's going to have another, another dust touch, which is good for XP. This is what I like. That's what I like. It's really good for XP. We'll drop a lovely little ice beam. Not going to be able to kill it, but still. Get off a decent amount of damage. Nice little chunk. And this thing's going to leech like... It's going to get like 2 HP back probably, right? How much you going to get back? None, right? No, not, not too much. There we go. 2, 3, 4, maybe 5. And I'm just going to come in hot with this Frost Breath for the KO. Because I do not want to use up all my ice That we're low on ice beams. Bang, Frost Breath flying through here. Gone. And we get a crit just to rub it in his face. Just to rub it in this dude's face. He gone. He gone. Bye bye, Mr. Galactic guy. Yeah. <laughs> That's what he said. He was just like, God, <laughs> you beat me. What you mean? Right, we're pretty much closing it on the end here. It's not that far of a path, I don't think. It's not that far of a path, but we'll, we'll be catching Dialga in the next episode. Next episode. So I'm going to leave you on a cliffhanger here. Is our Dialga shiny or not? That's going to be the cliffhanger. Could you imagine? Could you imagine? A shiny D outlet just by doing a regular playthrough. That'd be nutty. That'd be nutty. Well, let's just rip up with an ice beam. Hopefully, we can take this thing out in one shot. Let's see. We do indeed. Indubitably. Get this skunk out of my game. And that actually leads me to a funny story, yo. One of my me and my boy, me and one of my boys when I was in high school, we were all we were just hanging out. It was just me and my one friend. Really close friend. I'm so close with him today. Um, if you're watching this, yo, leave a comment. Leave a comment. But we were uh we were driving around in my car because I was like one of the first to get get my license. So we're driving around in the car and it's like, dude, it's like the middle of the day. It's like the middle of the day. And like, we're just chilling. Uh, we actually like, we were in a parking lot and we were getting ready to leave. And I pull out my car, I put it in reverse and I pull it out and I come to a stop before I put it in drive. And as I put it in, uh, as I'm starting to switch gears to put it in drive, we're at a complete stop. This thing wants one, one quick card, but no. But let me go back to my story. So. Before I go to put it in drive, we come to a stop and a skunk runs under my car. I kid you not. It runs under my car. And I'm sitting there thinking like, uh, did it like, did it run out the other side? Like, is it still under my car? I, I don't know. I don't know. So I'm sitting there for a little bit, like a couple minutes. I'm like, dude, what? Like, where's the skunk at? Where's the skunk at? It had to like run. There's no way. It's just ran randomly under my car and it's just hanging out there. So next thing I know, I put my car in drive and I'm messing around. I said like, oh, two points hitting the skunk. Like that's like a joke. And I hear ba boom as I start driving. I'm like, what? Hit the dang skunk, dude. I hit the skunk that was chilling under my car for a couple minutes. And I'm like, dude, what is going on? Next thing I know, my car is smelling for like three weeks straight. I'm like, bro, what is going on? And it was it wasn't like a bad smell, but it was a lingering smell that was just there. Like I got my car like a month later. I'm like, bruh. Like I would just be driving for like 10 minutes, not smelling anything, and then it would just linger out. I'm like, oh. Like, it still smells, dude. Put that thing through the car wash out. Dude, skunk smell is like, it's no joke. It's no joke. But yeah, that, I just think that's a great story. I, I love that story. I love that story. But dude, I kid you not. Skunk was under my car for like five minutes. I was just sitting there. I was like, oh, should I drive? Should I stay? Should I get out and check? But like, obviously, I'm not going to get out and check. So if I get out and check and the skunk's under the car, yeah, yo, I'm screwed. I ain't playing with that. I ain't playing with a skunk spray. No way I'm getting out of my car. So yeah, hit a skunk. Don't. I, I advise not. I advise not. And it was middle of the day. I'm pretty sure those things are like nocturnal a little bit. Because the only time I ever seen a skunk was like at night. Skunks are actually, they're pretty cool. I ain't even gonna lie. Like, you can't lie to yourself, yo. Skunks are, skunks are cool, man. They got, they're, they're cool looking animals. They're, we just don't like them because they, they smell. But yo, we just finesse that lady. We just finesse that lady, but let's go all the way around. We just don't like skunks because they, they they smell. But dude, they're they're cool looking animals. They got the little white stripes. They're kind of like an upgraded squirrel. You know what I'm saying? Like squirrels stink. It's like oh, back to our conversation, yo. Everything comes full circle, guys. Squirrels stink. Squirrels evolve into skunks. Skunks are cool. <laughs> they don't really evolve into skunks, but you guys get my premise. It just goes back to the conversation we were having earlier. But Kirkunk avoids my attack. This thing's gonna taunt me. That's fine. That's fine. Well, you know what's even cooler than skunks? Which I, I wish uh, were like... Uh, I can't even like think of the word. I wish they were kind of like wild animals. Kind of like squirrels. Chinchillas. I always like seeing a good chinchilla in the pet store. Thing's sick. Hopping around. It's It looks like a... What is that thing? Mort? Mort from uh, 
penguins of Madagascar in Madagascar. The little dude that's like, King Julian! <laughs> King Julian! Love, love me some Mort. But is, it, is his name Mort? Or is Mort the other one? No, yeah, that is Mort. So it goes Mort, Julian's the king, and then like this little servant is Maurice. Oh my god, yo, I love the Madagascar movies. Love those movies. I loved them growing up as a kid. I love the penguins as well. The penguins have great movies on there as well. I remember I watched the penguins of Madagascar first time on uh when I was taking an airplane on a vacation to the, the Cayman Islands. And like they had a little TV and I was just like, oh, what movies they have on here? And I saw it was like Penguins of Madagascar. I was like, oh, I gotta give it a watch. I gotta give it a watch. Cracked me up. First like five minutes they did like a banger of a joke. And it was good. It was good. <laughs> Can't go wrong with the Penguins of Madagascar. Or just Madagascar in general, because you know Chris Rock's character, uh, Marty the Zebra. Hilarious. Hilarious. Just great. It's just great. That and uh, Ice Age. I really do. I'm really fond of Ice Age. I think Ice Age is hilarious with Sid the Sloth, Manny the Mammoth, and all them. Loving it. And we call it Mammoth Why Manny Mammoth, which I like. Well, let's make our way up here and pretty much make our way towards the end of the video, right? But this guy's going to go inside the cave. Wait, what's he say? Did we go the wrong way? Did we go the wrong way? Where are we at? Did we go the wrong way? What's he say? Wait a minute. I'm hopelessly lost. Please don't pay attention to Loki Grunt without any Pokemon. Oh my god. I went the wrong way? Would you like to use another? Sure. I don't remember this. That's my problem. I think we went the wrong way. Did we go the- what are we doing? Hold up. And we dodge this trainer, so I'm gonna have to dodge her again. Son of a biscuit. Son of a biscuit. I think we gotta make our way all the way back. I gotta find this right way. I gotta find this right way. Let's take out this trainer and then, and then figure out the right way. And then figure out the right way. Wurple's gonna stand out here. What you mean? I could have sworn that was the right way. I, I, I must have did something wrong. I know we're on the right pathway. I know we're on the right pathway, like Stark Mountain's the way. We're well, not Stark Mountain. Why do I keep calling Stark Mountain? But we're on the right pathway, reversing black members. But I definitely just went the wrong way. I definitely went the wrong way. Maybe I was supposed to go into the other cave. I think there was a, there was another cave. But Beauty Flash can come out here. We're going to keep battling. And do I have to defeat all the trainers? Is that how it works? Is that how it works? I'm not too sure. We'll figure this one out. We'll figure this one out together, guys. But Frost Breath, just gonna come out here, finish off that Beautify. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. And Beautify faints. Get him all out my game. And he has one more Pokemon, and I'm gonna guess it's Cascoon. Or Silcoon, actually. I'm gonna say Silcoon. Is it gonna be Silcoon? Oh, would you get. Uh, blue, look, look at that. Look at that. Who would have guessed it? Silcoon. Come out here, pop another Frost Breath, get this thing out my face. Oh my god, why are you dodging my moves, man? Now he's going to harden that does nothing because, you know, we special attacking. Yeah, why do they have to make my, make a cocoon Pokemon do that? Just harden all the time. Frost Breath comes out. It's GG's. Get him on out of here. I'm going to get a crit rubbing in his face. But yeah, we got to go find this pathway. We got to go find the right pathway in order to go see Dialga. I think we found the right pathway. We exited the cave, went up this way with our, our uh, what's it called? With our rock climb, and now we're just slowly making our way down here. And for some reason, I don't remember this, but there's got to be an item here. We get this item right here. We're going to get thriving out here. Let's see if we can head back up here. Let's see what's cooking, because again, yeah, this is the cave. This is definitely the cave. Here's the cave. Let's get rolling here, and we got to be pretty close to actually making our way towards the little boss fight. The little Dialga thing. We head over here, and yeah, we're starting to head up the mountain. We have a few more battles left, and then we will get it. And then we will get it, which is awesome. Which is awesome. But, yo, we have a little bit of a longer video for you guys. So hopefully you guys are enjoying. I know a few of you guys are like, yeah, yo, jeans. We want longer videos for this. I know a few were like, hey, it's perfect. So I've been keeping them the same. But this one's for the people who want the longer videos. And this one's for you guys. This one's for you guys. I'm going to send out my lovely little frost last. We're going to get ripping on this thing. Hex is going to pop. Yeah. And, like, I understand. I feel, like, I feel like Pokemon playthroughs should be, like, longer videos. And this thing just get a sash? Bruh. What you mean? But, uh, no, I understand, like, I think, oh, you kidding me, man. Slumped. Might as well use, like, a, I don't even have an awakening. You know what? Screw it. We're swapping. We're swapping. Hound him get out there. Hound him get out there. But I, 
back to what I was saying, I understand, like, I think Pokemon playthroughs should be longer, too, because, like, I can't fit a bunch of content in 30 minutes. It should be at least, like, 45 to an hour, you know? Like, they, they, that's just how it should be. That's just how it should be. This thing ends up safeguarding. It's all good. We're going to come in here with a nice little bite. Bite action here. Yay. Calm down. And this thing's gone. And this thing's gone. I can't believe I ran through that whole other section. I ran through that whole other section. Got to the bottom. Like, what? But I totally forget what's in that cave. Because I didn't go back on my main game. I didn't go back in my main game yet. I've just been messing around building teams and stuff. But if you guys know, let me know. I'm kind of curious. I'm kind of curious. We're going to pop this thing. Take out Glam Meow. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. See that? Get all the XP and move forward. I think there might be one more trainer. They're just stacked up at this point because, you know, it's the end spot. It's the end spot. Let's go here. Is there a way I can finesse him? Oh. <laughs> no way you can finesse him. He's just dead straight on his path. And we still have our... So our Frost Lass out. We still have our Frost Lass out. He's slumped, so we're going to have to swap him. Or I can just heal him up. Bronzor's going to come out here. Bronzor. Bronzor is going to come out here. And at this point, we're just going to swap in Hound Doom. We're just going to swap in Hound Doom. I'll heal up my Pokemon in a little bit. Swap in the Hound Doom here. Let's get it going. Let's do it. And I'm just going to poke. Rival. If this thing uses Hypnosis, I'm going to cry. Let's see it. Uh, extra sensory. It doesn't affect me, silly. Silly dude. Flamethrower. Later, Bronzor. Sorry, I had to be this way. I'm sorry I had to be this way. Let's send out Golbat. And this is where I would love to have, uh, what's it called? Frost Lance, but he's asleep. So we're just going to bring out Togekiss. Togekiss can come out here. We do have Shockwave on that thing. And it probably could kill. I know it's not stab, but yo, we're level 50. We're level 50. Our stats are crazy strong compared to this level 37 gold bat. Poor gold bat. I'm going to have to put you in the dumps here. Shockwave popping. Right. And yep, Shockwave gets the job done. It gets the job done. But I can totally change the move that uh, Tokus has now. Because I really only had that electric to have that coverage. And now Frostlass has it. And Frostlass has a way better move for coverage with Thunderbolt. So we could probably switch that out off of Tokus. But let me uh, switch my Pokemon out. I don't have to heal it. I'll heal it later. We'll swap in our Torterra. Give him a little bit of love and our starter. And we'll make our way up towards the mountain. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. And another battle, man. Can I finesse her? Son of a biscuit. <laughs> I tried finessing her, man. I tried. I tried. So many battles, man. So many battles. Can't single him. And he has three. Not one. Not two. But three Pokemon. But three Pokemon. Colbat's going to get sent out here and... God dang it, dude. We have Torterra out here. Alright. You know who's coming in hot? Togi Wogi. Get on in there, Togi Wogi. Let's do it. Let's do it. Togi Wogi's gonna get the swap. No offense, he's not going for a poison. That would be scary. He do some damage on me. He's just gonna screech me. And we dodged it via shout. Via shout. I kind of don't like that they added that stuff. We get like free focus ashes and stuff. Makes the game a lot easier for, like, the person playing, but... Like, come on, you know, the older games never had them. Don't make it easier for us. We, li we, like the, we like the little challenge. We like a little challenge of leveling up our Pokemon. That's what the XP share... Like, I love the XP share, but I think it should be a post team thing. Because there was nothing like grinding out your Pokemon. Level by level, instead of just using one XP share in the game. You know what I'm saying? Like, I remember I used to have to go in the grass. Oh, I have to chain... I have to train this specific Pokemon right now. The only way to get XP is to have it leading in your party. It was a grind. It was a grind. It was a grind. But we're going to rip into a flamethrower. We're going to say bye-bye, Bronzor. Be gone. Hopefully, this is the last trainer. I'm ready to just get after it. I'm ready to get to the outcome, man. I'm ready for it. I'm so ready for it. But he has one more Pokemon. If I lose Omos on another level, Glamiao's going to come out here. Houndoom should be able to just one-tap it up. No problem. With a lovely little flamethrower. Let's do it. And Glamout goes first. Mmm, it fakes me out. This thing's ripping with fake out. There's no point in using fake out in like single battles. Unless you do, obviously, the Pokemon's on 1 HP, but it's just like, dude, it doesn't do anything. It don't do anything. Because the next turn, you just get dumped on. <laughs> next turn, you just get dumped on. And Rylou almost levels up. Almost levels up. We take out Team Galactic Grunt. And might be the last one. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna promise you guys anything. 
I'm gonna promise you guys anything, but we make our way up here and here we are, right? That's the end, right? Yep, we make our way to Spear Pillar. But guys, that is gonna be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. As in the next episode, we're gonna be taking on Spear Pillar and catching the legendary Dialga. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.